Hello, and welcome to my value chain analysis of the WWE. For a value chain analysis, it is essential to select primary activities that add value to our product or service. For the WWE, we decided wrestlers, supply chain, and the McMahons added the most value to our product or service. For the wrestlers, the wrestlers are ultimately what makes the WWE so well known and so successful. When you think of the WWE, what do you really think of? The answer is the wrestlers. Each wrestler has a different and unique personality and style that they are known for. They go through extreme amounts of training and pain to bring the product that the fans pay for. When each wrestler, when each wrestler reaches the level where they are a fan favorite, they are expected to remain in the spotlight until their popularity dies out. Even the retired wrestlers are expected to make surprise returns and wrestle even at their old age. For the supply chain, when wrestlers start their WWE journey, they train in rigorous schools run by former WWE stars themselves, so they are already familiarized with the company. If you are good enough, you will get sent to the up-and-coming WWE NXT, which is basically a direct pipeline to the WWE. Once they get to the big stage, these wrestlers have already had productive training and experience in the ring with a development program. These academies in WWE NXT are both equally important. Apart from the wrestling academies, former athletes from all sorts of sports come to the WWE because they see the potential and success that they have. And it is an easy transition because the WWE is scripted, so the wear and tear on their body is less severe. For the McMahons, Vince McMahon started the WWE with the mindset that it would become one of the most popular forms of entertainment in the business. He built the company from the ground up, and without his leadership, I doubt the WWE would be where they are today. He knows the business from every aspect. Vince wrestled on and off for a couple years while successfully running the WWE. The next step was to select primary activities that add value to our customers. For the WWE, we decided to go with the WWE Network and the weekly shows. For the WWE Network, diehard wrestling fans get the best bang for their buck with this network. For only $9.99 a month, they can watch the pay-per-view matches and weekly shows. This also includes previous shows that are archived for our fans' viewing pleasure. The WWE Network pumps out over 10 hours of new content a week. One might think this is significant, but the customers who buy the WWE Network are the ones who will watch all this content, and then some. The WWE has recently made a WWE Network app where you can take all the abilities of the WWE Network and use it on your phone. This makes it extremely convenient for the fans to watch events wherever and whenever. For weekly shows, with SmackDown, Raw, and NXT each having a show a week, the amount of content that the WWE pumps out is tremendous. None of the WWE's competitors can keep up with the amount of content that is released. The UFC only has events every couple months, so what do their fans have to watch while they are waiting for the next big event? The WWE does a great job of keeping their customers interested each week while they wait for the next big event to happen. Since each event is scripted, they have a predetermined match length. This makes it easy for our customers to get the best bang for their buck and fit it in their schedule. Our direct competitor, the UFC, has events every couple months that cost $60, but you can never be sure about the length of the event. Some fights are over in a minute, so the customer is ultimately wasting their time and money and they can watch a three hour long event that they know will last the whole time. The final step of a value chain analysis is to select secondary activities that are essential to our product and service. With the WWE, we decided that hiring talent and social media presidents are essential to our product and service. For hiring talent, when talking about procurement in the context of the WWE, it is important that they are able to sign young and promising wrestlers from other leagues before they become household names. By signing this young talent and having older talent mentor them, it ensures that each new wrestler is going to understand what it takes to make it in the WWE. Not to mention that the WWE picks up talent from every business. They hire formal, former NFL players, UFC fighters, and anyone who fits the physique that a WWE wrestler requires. This helps the WWE stay as the leader in their industry and quenches the threat of new entrants. For social media presence, the WWE is one of the most followed sports entertainment companies on every social media site. They constantly incorporate social media with every event in some way, shape, or form. 
It allows the fans to have their voices heard on which types of matches the wrestlers will compete in for a title match. And it also uses fans' posts and puts them on live TV during or after events to show the fans' reaction to what just happened. Their involvement is a huge reason why so many fans follow them. Not to mention that the wrestlers also have a huge social media presence. John Cena is the most followed athlete on Facebook because of all the charity work he does and his constant fan involvement. Thank you so much for watching my value chain analysis of the WWE. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I look forward to answering any questions you may have about the value chain analysis.